find up here. I'm in the backyard again. And you may ask why. And it's because I am on a gimbal right now. One of the presents Cindy got me was a gimbal. I'm still messing with, obviously, to try to figure out. But I thought riding the backyard would be a good test of a gimbal. Because if you see my video from a few days ago, where I was just holding the camera, you can compare the shakiness uh, compared to what it looks like now on a gimbal. Uh, there are some challenges with it because like when I when I'm normally shooting I have my GoPro in a foam windscreen that I'm just holding in my hand and the nice thing about that is I have my finger on the button it's easy for me to stop and start it when I have it in the gimbal like this it is not easy because it's the uh, stop and start button is not easily accessible so what I'm hoping to do is charge up my GoPro remote control, which I, I've literally never used, never charged it. I almost forgot that I even had it. And I'm hoping that maybe if I use that, and I can just click that when I want to stop and start filming, that might give me a happy medium. I'm not sure. And I'm, I'm also kind of uh, a novice with the gimbal. As far as, I know there's different settings, you know, the different ways you can do the tracking, the orientation. I don't really understand what any of that does as far as what, you know, what, what pitch and roll settings I should be using. Right now I just have it basically turned in a way that's more or less facing me. But like if I push it, I put it down. Like that. It looks like it's kind of staying in the direction that I want. Bring it back up. So I'm curious if this does look significantly more stable than before. Um, it's kind of hard because I do still have the windscreen on here, the foam windscreen, so it's kind of jammed in there. So the foam sort of bunches up where the bracket, where the bracket uh, holds it on, which in turn causes a little bit of obstruction when the when the uh, gimbal motors try to rotate. So that might take some tweaking. So, oh, uh, Happy New Year's Eve, by the way. Um, hopefully tonight, I believe, we're going to be meeting up with Katie and, I assume, Daniel. We're going to ride around with some sparklers. Um, and we should, hopefully, wherever we wind up riding, we should be able to see the fireworks that they have by the coast. Maybe. We'll see. But I certainly wouldn't want to go into Naples conventionally for the car because they estimate that it's going to be something like 25,000 people that show up for the fireworks so I've done that once or twice on New Year's and it's a freaking mess man trying to get in there is a, is, a, is a headache trying to get out of there is way worse it literally took like an hour I think for me just to get out of the uh, city limits when I went to these fireworks once before it's kind of a pain in the ass so, um, oh yeah, and with a gimbal too, I, I mentioned how I have the foam windscreen on the GoPro. And the reason for that is, is if you watch other guys that use gimbals for their rides, a lot of times the wind noise is really, really bad. And since I kind of like to talk while I'm uh, riding, that just wouldn't work out very well for me. So I got to have some sort of windscreen on there. Just in case we were wondering. Oh, more news. <laughs> more electric unicycle news. You might remember in the last last ride around the yard, I said that I should be done buying wheels for a while. Since I bought one for Katie, I bought one for Cindy. And, um, well, of course, I jinxed myself. What happened was we actually went out during the week after work to the school for Cindy to test to, to start doing some more training on her wheel you know she's been getting more interested in doing so which is awesome so Katie and Daniel met us there Katie brought her um, her InMotion V5F 
and Cindy Cindy was on her Gotway MCM4 and we she was basically going around that fenced in bike area that everyone else has learned on you know basically Katie Daniel and Randall all kind of uh, had that click moment while they were doing that so Cindy was doing that as well and uh, she was actually doing really well she um she at first she went 10 feet without touching the fence and then she went 20 feet without touching the fence and then she probably went she went the long way in the fence and probably went about 30 or 35 feet without touching the fence but Katie let her use her in motion at one point her in motion wheel and Cindy liked the way that that felt uh, much more than the MCM4. Main reason being the body of the in motion is a lot uh, thinner, or maybe not a lot, but it is thinner than the MCM4, and she just found it much more comfortable. And she did better when she was riding that. She was able to go further because um, at her very best, she went. She actually pushed off the the. Uh, the, the bike fenced in area and rode uh, free balancing down the sidewalk. I would say her total is she probably went at least 100 feet, maybe 125, and then grabbed the pole uh, in front of the school. And she did that more than once. I think she did it two or three times. And it was on the in motion. So um, after the ride, you know, I was very happy that she was doing well and she was excited about how well she did. And she reiterated how the in motion felt so much better to her than the MCM4. And you know, I've obviously I've really been interested in getting Cindy to learn to so she could ride with me because I think it'd be fun and I think that she would really like it. So I said to her, "Well, I can always try to sell the MCM4 and buy another V5F." has some spare money sitting over my PayPal account that could help defer most of the cost of it. So I told her I would do that. So I now bought another InMotion V5F from Jason at, e, uh, Jason at E Wheels. Got a white one, Katie's is black. Got Cindy a white one, and it should arrive next week. As far as the MCM4 goes, it may sound ridiculous, but I think <laughs> I think I'm going to just keep it. The backup wheel and um, it, the riding experience is so much different than the M Super. I, I, I like riding it. You know, it's small, it's nimble. LED lights on it look really cool, and the sucker is fast. Um, you know, for its size, for a 14-inch wheel, it's, it's it's fast. It's it's the high-speed version, not the high torque. And you can definitely tell the difference. It doesn't take off fast. It doesn't break real fast, but. Um, it'll cruise. It'll cruise uh, damn close to 20 miles an hour, I believe. So, uh, yeah, I, I'll probably just wind up keeping it. Actually, I'm 95% sure I'll just keep it. So, anyways, now I should be done buying wheels. Seriously. Okay, so this, is, this has been enough constant jabbering. Hopefully enough footage to give us an idea of how the gimbal works. And uh, my right knee's a little sore. And bouncing around in the backyard isn't a good way to help that. So I think that's it for now. Again, hope everybody has a happy new year. I'll see you next year. Duckman out.